I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, for your recent past, we have support. And we also have calling in your soulmate. It reads, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And support. Uh, support is basically about, there's, on the flip side of the card, it basically, it explains this. It says, Expect help, a divine power more magnificent than anything else on the planet is ready to support your every need, your every needs, your every moment, your every moments. So that's what it says on the flip side of support. So basically, in the recent past, you could have been... In a connection or you were hoping for a, a type of soulmate connection and you probably prayed a lot and you use visual visualization maybe visualization techniques and it bought you you were hoping that it would bring you your soulmate or you were in a soulmate connection yeah and being that it's with support uh, there was a, di a divine power more magnificent than anything that exists on the planet that was ready to support you. So you expected help. Yeah, so maybe you're a sp you, were, you are a spiritual type of person. You use a lot of prayers and, um, and you knew that there was a divine power to help you with this connection or to bring you the connection. So you felt like your soulmate was calling. Or like I said, you could have been in a soulmate relationship. And you you look for support or you got support from a divine power. So that's what we have for the recent past, Leo. Let's move on down and take a look at the present time. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and it's paired with Justice. Now, to explain the Ten of Pentacles, it's about having a whole lot, a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, they'll be going well at this time. You'll probably need to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. And be sure to share what you have, even if it's a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know we get back what we give out. When this Ten of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's a very happy indicator when it comes to love. Any type of love questions. It's yes, it's very happy, positive. If you're currently in a relationship, this card means that it could, it could move to the next level, such as living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All of this can be an indicator of this card. For quite some time or for a time period, you're likely to have a peaceful, happy time in your life, in your love life also. So make sure you enjoy it. Make sure your lover knows how much they mean to you at this time. And if you're single, Aries, and you get this card in a reading, as you are, it can mean that a new love, they could come your way so fast. They could come into your life so fast, it's going to make your head spin. So you have to be open at this time. Now that's the Ten of Pentacles. And we have this Justice card with it. Now the Justice card, just to explain it, I like to explain the cards. So just bear with me. Um, it's about the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. You have to remember that not everything that you're dealing with 
is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Not everything. Sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. If you are involved in a court case and you get this justice heard, it's likely to be resolved at least in a large degree in your favor. When justice talks about love and relationships, if you're asking a question whether you and your partner are likely to stay together, the answer is that you'll probably choose to go your separate ways when you get the justice. On the other hand, if you're single Leos, this is a time that commitment could come your way very shortly. So you have to stay clear about what you want most from or out of a relationship. And you're likely to find it that much sooner. So for your present time, Leo, this Ten of Pentacles and Justice is basically, it basically explains um, things should be going really well for you at this time. Uh, happy situations all around the board. And if you're in a relationship, it could go to the next level. Marriage, children, engagement. Just a beautiful time. Your finances should be going well. And if they're not now, they will be really soon. So a great time overall. Ten of Pentacles is the tops. And because it's paired with this Justice card, um, Justice card is about karma. Whatever you put out to the universe or put out to people, situations in the past or maybe in the recent past or it could be at this time, it's all coming back to you. Karma. Some people know this word as boomerang. Yeah. So whether you put out good things or bad things to the universe, to people, situations, things, good or bad, it's coming back to you at this time. And with karma, it comes back to you three times as much or as big. Some people say ten times as much or as big. It's coming to, back to you bigger. Bigger. So hopefully you've been putting out good to the universe. So that when you get back this three to ten times more karma, uh, it's all good. Hopefully. That's what you've been doing. And um, so it's a great, wonderful time for you with the Ten of Pentacles. But um, be on the lookout because some things are coming back to you. And it will bring a lot of clarity and truth. Um, it will bring a lot of clarity and truth to you and your mind. Uh, you'll probably remember the things that you put out. And if something comes back to you, you'll know why. Because that's what you put out. You'll remember that's what you put out. Now it's coming back to you. Yeah, so... Overall, really good. But keep in mind, you got something, some, some things, some stuff that's coming back to you. Like I said, hopefully it's good. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at how the person you're dealing with, how they see you, how they view this connection. Now they see you as the devil. We have the devil and then we have the hangman. So just to explain the devil, Um, you have to remind yourself that it's important not to let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, make sure you're coming to that conclusion on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions that you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feelings now that you're not in control of your life. 
Sometimes that can happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of no action, of inaction. So it's going to be important for you to take action, take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if that's just a choice on what you're going to eat for dinner. Small steps, they are important too. When the devil card talks about love and relationships, if you're in a long-term romantic relationship, one or both parties, they've gotten to the point where they could feel as though they're trapped in a situation. If you're getting this signal that this is the case, you have to try to talk about it if you want to save the relationship. This card also sometimes appear it will it will appear when there's really nothing that can be done but to end an unhappy relationship we always have choices so take steps to keep the magic alive so they see you as having some type of obsession they could see you obsessed with with them or it could be they see you not really in control of your life they could see you with some type of addictions it could be greed envy materialism could be sexual lust that's devil energy they see you with some type of devil energy and because it's paired with this hangman now the hangman is all about letting go, letting go of an unattainable lover. That's one example, which will bring the possibility that someone you can be with will be there for you. But like I said, that's only one example. So it's, all, it's also about letting go of a particular vision of a particular kind of relationship as being the only way that you can be happy. If you're committed and you get this hangman in your reading, uh, it's about still it's still about being at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads about this committed relationship. And if you if you're thinking that the relationship is all fine and fabulous and well, you need to be sure and find out where your partner's head is. Yeah, because it's about being at a crossroads. So, the person you're dealing with, see you, they see you with some type of devil energy. Yeah, and because it's with the same man, um, they see you as possibly walking away from this connection. Or... They, they could see you as letting go or trying to let go of whatever devil energy that you have. Yep, so they see you as trying to let go of something, but you're at a crossroads. They could see you as, like I said, trying to move on from this connection or this relationship or they see you like I said trying to get rid of these restrictions that are holding you back from the devil energy but you're at a crossroads you're not sure they see you as not being sure and crossroads is like in or out up or down yes or no so they see you as much wanting to do something, but you have no idea of what it is or how to do it. So they possibly see you as confused. And that's what we have for how they see you, how they're viewing this connection with you. Now let's move on over to how you see them. You see them as a Ten of Swords and as a Knight of Cups. You see them 
as the Ten of Swords. And let me explain that the Ten of Swords is a clear signal to be very careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in a reading and it's in relation to a question whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, the answer is no. You cannot trust the situation. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door will open. You're being guided to a situation that's much better for you. So trust yourself and trust in the universe. When the Ten of Swords talks about love and relationships, this is sadly not a, not a good card in the tarot. Something about the love situation that you're in is not quite right. Ask yourself a lot of questions. Accept reality. Don't close your eyes to the truth. You cannot force someone to love you or behave respectfully. And if you recently met someone new and are possibly looking for love, keep looking because the contenders that you've met so far, they're probably not who they seem. Now that explains the Ten of Swords, and that's how you see the person that you're dealing with. You see them as possibly not trusting you or not trusting this connection. Yeah, that's what the Ten of Swords is about. You see how this man is on his on the ground in the snow and he's got these swords stabbed in his back. So you see them as possibly defeated, rock bottom, maybe some type of painful ending. Um, you see them as, like I said, not really trusting something this connection you or some type of situation they're not being trustful or they're not you just you see them as not trusting like i said possibly you or or just they don't trust the connection because this pair with the knight of cups uh, the knight of cups is a very positive card to get when you ask about love if you're single leos and you get the knight of cups it indicates that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. If you're in a relationship, this Knight of Cups, it's about commitment, marriage. Or it could mean positive messages, things that you would love to hear. So basically, they see you, they see, I'm sorry, you see them as not trusting this connection or something. But they want to move forward because the Knight of Cups is about charging in, offering that cup of love, very positive messages. So you see them as wanting to go forward with this connection, even though sometimes they feel it's, it's ruined or a failure uh, and it has a lot of pain in it. But you still, you still know. That they want to come in and give you that cup of love. Isn't that cute? Well, that cup of love, I love I love these uh, some of the Knight of Cups that because like this one it, it wants the cup charging in, you know. And it, it comes in bringing that cup, the cup of love. And that's what they that's how you see them. So they they're happy with you, but something they're not trusting. Something they feel defeated about. Rock bottom. But they still want, you see them as wanting to bring you their love. Okay, so, interesting. Now, let's move on to why it's all happening. We have the King of Pentacles. And it's paired with the Hierophant. Now, the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is about success in money matters because pinnacles when you hear that word it's coins it's money finance 
So it's about success and money matters. When this card appears in your reading, as it is, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. Now is a time to follow the established way of doing things. When this card stands for an actual person in your life, it usually refers to a masculine fellow. He'll probably have hair, eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If he's referring to a man in your life, just know that this man is one who can, well, it's one, it's a person that you can believe in and trust in 100%. When the King of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's an excellent card in the tarot for love. Someone could come along and absolutely sweep you right off your feet. Yeah, so try to put your best foot forward at this time, but don't pretend to be someone that you're not. And I say that because with the King of Pentacles, this person, they're going to love you for exactly who you are. So be honest about everything and all should fall into place. And if you're currently involved with someone at this time, the relationship could move to a more comfortable place. But if you're dissatisfied in the relationship, you need to say so for things to change. So it's all about talking, communication, a lot of communication. Don't expect your lover to read your mind at this time. So that's why, this is one of the reasons why it's all happening, because it's King of Pentacles. It's happening because there's, there's some, there's a lot of success in this connection. A, a lot of success, success with this King of Pentacles. A lot of success in this connection. Um, this person, they, they pretty much love you or you love them for who they are. You know their, you know all that you need to know or your person know all that they need to know about you. But with this King of Pentacles, it's saying that they still love you for who you are. So... Um, yeah so that's it, yeah it's a successful relationship and um someone wants to sweep the other person off their feet and they're loving you for who you are with this king of pentacles and because we have this hierophant there uh the hierophant if you're asking a question about how your partner is feeling um, just know with the Hierophant, they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken. So just to sum it up for how, for why it's all happening, the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. The King of Pentacles, like I said, uh, it's happening because there's, there's, there's actually success in this connection. Okay. Um. It's a good connection. And maybe someone likes, likes sweeping the other person off their feet at times. And it just, it makes the connection um, comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. And um, there's a, a love there that can't be broken with this hierophant it cannot be broken it's a deep love so yeah there's a deep love and there's a true love and that's why it's all happening so leo i hope you enjoyed this reading i'll put a link below of the extended of this reading and i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link below for personal readings. So I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. 
please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope you're enjoying 2020. I hope February continues to be a beautiful month for you. And I just want to say thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.